Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal and welcome to 2013. Today we are on episode number 78. As always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codekarate.com, watch the other videos, and sign up for the newsletter. Are you sick of the same old CAPTCHAs where you have to try to fill in the squiggly text and hope when you hit the submit button or the save button that you got it right? Well, if you are, then perhaps you'd be interested in the Are You a Human Playthrough module. This is available on Drupal.org, and it basically takes the typical CAPTCHA and turns it into a simple game in order to verify that you are, in fact, a human. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I already have this module downloaded and installed on my Drupal 7 test site. As you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and click the Configure button. The first thing you're going to notice is you have to enter your form ID for any form that you want, but you also need to enter a publisher key and a scoring key. And you can get this from the ruahuman.com site. You'll have to create an account. It is free for the basic version, so you can go ahead and get started without having to pay anything. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in a site. and I'm not going to follow the download instructions here of course since we already have the module I'm just going to click on the dashboard page where it lists my publisher key and the scoring key in this right column so I'll come back in here and enter in both of those values and I'm also going to pick a form and as you can see you do need to know the form ID of the form I'll just pick the user login form for now. We'll go ahead and click the save configuration button. I'm also going to add the user login block form. And I'm going to save that. We'll go ahead and give this thing a try quickly. I'm going to start by Letting the page load here for a second. And I'm going to log out. And I'm going to log back in. And as you can see, it pops up a little light box here that asks me to prove that I am a human. I go ahead and hit start. It says place the food in the refrigerator. So I have to find, obviously, the ones that are the food. It verifies that I am a human. I can go ahead and hit continue. And it uses HTML5 and falls back to Flash only on older browsers. So that's how that works. Let's say, for instance, you do not know what this form ID is for this form here. Well, there's two options. You can come into the settings. And there is a checkbox that displays the form ID of the current form so you can check that and hit save now you can see that it displays the form IDs of both the search form and the MailChimp form for the newsletter you can also use your developer tools in your browser find the form itself and look for the form element or form input with the form ID name and you can find the value here so you could grab it from this area as well. We'll go ahead and turn this off for now. So we don't have that message popping up in every page. But as you can see, it's incredibly simple to add to any form on your site. Um, I've had I did run into a few small issues with it where the game wouldn't work and I think it depended on making sure I had the publisher key first and then adding the form IDs and at once I did it in that order it seemed to work fine but if you do run into that issue I simply uninstalled the module reinstalled it and everything seemed to work so go ahead and give it a try and you can have users play a little game rather than trying to fill out a CAPTCHA in order to prove that they are in fact human thanks for watching the daily dose of Drupal and we will be back again next time with another episode